I uh, wanted to uh, show you the birthday present I got <coughs> from uh, my beloved wonderful wife and um, a little bit of history about this is uh, the young fellow that is a mechanic and his brother who has a paint shop they put this uh, old uh, 96 model which is one of the better models that came out of the what's called the Commodore um, Holden utility which is for Americans it's like a pickup truck except it's like uh, um, slightly more luxurious so they stripped it down completely and painted it inside and out with this uh, candy apple uh, green metallic green and um, this is the stages of them working on it the important thing is the uh, young mechanic he said this the money he spent on this the the um, to get this uh, paint job is seven thousand dollars to take it back down to the metal and, and uh, entirely do the car as if it was a factory and then uh, he's rebuilt the um, the running gear right through uh, put these new uh, tires new grill on the front and um, everything uh, possible to be replaced um, and it's like a new vehicle so uh, what he does for a hobby he's got this fan on the back here that he takes out to the uh, uh, out to a field somewhere and he um, hang glides behind it being towed uh, by this thing blowing the air out and um, that doesn't come with the vehicle by the way but I think it's a really good idea and now this has all been rebuilt uh, this is all brand new and uh, etc and that's what you end up with is this lovely car and um, there it is out on the field where he had uh, takes that big fan thing off the back and then they set it up and uh, be interested to see what he does with it but something to do with hang gliding that type of thing parasailing or something so that's this uh, beautiful car that I've got for my birthday now the importance of this moment in time um, I've put a few slides together after this to show you why this is so important and how it all fits together and in my inimitable fashion I tend to or have a, a potential of going off in several directions because things are all synchronistically aligned and uh, when I was talking to Andrew from Texas yesterday and we've uploaded that maybe you should listen to that again and it talks about uh, why Andrew uh, when he uh, discovered me on the 24th of uh, June in 2010 the two days later I was uh, telling uh, the world that um, the five planets the uh, combined distances uh, was 66.66 uh, .66 astronomical units and that's how many times the word Lord is found in the King James Bible now don't get uh, too excited about the King James Bible and you should go and worship it it is um, a Freemason uh, trap um, it was designed to keep uh, people um, ensnared at that time when it came out uh, if you had a copy of scripture and the Catholic Church found out about it you get burned at the stake so only the priests could read it so it shows you how evil the uh, intent behind these religious works are but the King James Bible was put together by Freemasons and uh, under Francis Bacon given to the King and William Shakespeare whose real name was Edward de Vere he was in the uh, man responsible for um, Elizabeth nominating the son of Mary Queen of Scots whom she had beheaded signed the death warrant of and uh, to repent if she wanted to go to heaven and uh, made uh, her son um, James English translation but they spoke French in those days in the uh, courts of Europe royalty 
and his name was Jacques, or Jack in French. She had um, previously married a uh, French king and he had died on the honeymoon. And she was five foot ten inches tall and she married this little Frenchman, she probably killed him. However, um, uh, as it turns out, that uh, she inherits uh, France. Now, France is the, one of the leading exponents of Freemasonry and evil in the world. And uh, not knowing that I'm still king of it, irregardless of the fact that um, they had gone independent ways. And the same with America, it gets independence. It's a lot of rubbish. So I'll go into a bit of the details here and I'll show you why it's so very, very important. Now at 1945 on the 11th of January 2013, uh, this is London time, the moon is there um, and what we see then is January the 13th, uh, January the 11th uh, 2013, lunation 1114. Now, those of you who are familiar with how I measure the Great Pyramid will know that the internal chambers of the Great Pyramid, and I'll just skip down here and see if we can find it. There. Um, that is, we're counting lunations. In other words, pyramid inches from the, that point to that point is a distance of 111 four lunations or pyramid inches one pyramid inch equals a lunation in this case now that has got nothing to do with the lines here which are indicating the levels of masonry but this is the 24th layer of masonry here up to the 60th layer of masonry there so that is your time 60 minutes 24 hours etc um, between here and here is 36 layers, rather, 36 layers of uh, masonry. So that'll be uh, each one lines up with a solar eclipse. So, in other words, from that point there to that point there, you've got these solar eclipses. However, we are measuring from that distance to that distance there, which is 1114. Lunations. Now, lunation is 29.53052 days. Down below here, what I've got is uh, another fascinating uh, proof of who I am. And uh, I should also mention that uh, Dexter went and seen uh, John Lennox yesterday, caught him uh, standing outside of Oxford waiting for his friends to arrive and they was going off to have a lunch and he lives a very very comfortable life but it's a Freemason uh, university and they are anti-Jesus now he is convinced because he is an Irishman you've got to make allowances for that he is convinced that the uh, King James Bible is holy I think it's uh, what's holy in it is the numbers and uh, it's a trap to uh, allow the Freemason world to control uh, the uh, entire world population uh, that's in the English speaking world via the King James Bible saying it's holy as I say it's not the, the reason it's uh, not is because Freemasons put it together and they can't it's impossible for a, a Satan worshipping cult to put together a Bible uh, and when you become a 33 degree Mason you find out your God is Lucifer well I'm telling this to to, he should be reading it right now, as a matter of fact, because Dex gave it to him. Um, he just got me on the phone and uh, we recorded it. And we're going to upload that as well. And um, he should be reading it. If he doesn't, if he doesn't get it, it goes to show you there's no hope for scholars in the world because uh, he's got tenure, he's a professor, uh, he works for a Freemason uh, university. He thinks that he, the Bible is... Uh, the word of God, it isn't. Um, what it is, it's the word in numbers. It's all about the numbers. Now, he may know Gematria. I, it's very hard to say with Irishmen. Uh, they get pretty pretty uh, stubborn. And, uh, for example, 
888 is Jesus in Greek Gematria. Now, on the 17th of June, 1946, right, I was 880 days old. That's what that's saying there. June the 17th, 2 BC, is when I was born as Jesus. All right, now let's go back up to here, and I'll give you a full screen of it, and then we'll go through a, a few more drawings. But um, without the Freemason Bible, you wouldn't be able to have this. I wouldn't be able to just uh, put all the bits and say, well, I didn't write that, and I didn't say this, and I didn't say that, but I did say that bit, and I left this bit out. So this is what my job is today, is to uh, show the world just how bloody stupid you all are, and uh, either going along with being atheists or going along with the Freemason Bible. It's much, 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 much more detailed than that. Um, when I created everything, I did it in such a way that a little baby would be born and I would take over. And that is why when I'm 2424 two, days old, Mary appeared to me in the St. Bernard School when I was a child and uh, uh, she told me that um, she called me Jesus twice to come after her and run down a, a hill on the outskirts of Nazareth. And she said, now, Jesus, I've got something to tell you. And I'm tired. We've just been walking back from Egypt for days in the hot sun. And she said, if the Jews find out that we are Essenes, they will kill us. So everyone thinks Jesus was a Jew. He's an Essene of the tribe of Judah. So the the black soul Jews have come in out of Babylon and they've tried to take over. And this is what's in Israel today. All Jews are of the devil, unless they repent. And I've seen a few cases where young fellows have uh, uh, had the sense to uh, read some of the New Testament and find out that it fulfills the prophecies as Jesus. Uh, of Isaiah prophecy of being crucified. However, they are not aware that in order to get this around the world and for everyone in the world to to think it is the word of God, um, is to have Freemasonry fool you by a Lucifer. And the Jews' God is Lucifer. So it's the same Freemason God. When you're a 33 degree, you find out that you're a, a, a God is Lucifer. So pretty, people really give me the shit because they're so stupid. And uh, when I, I uh, reveal these things, of course I get a barrage of, uh, of abuse. Now, this is the numbers um, 1114. And as I said before, from the 24th layer to the 60th layer, there's 1114. Pyramid inches, that's 1114 lunations. There it is there. And there's my date of birth there. That's 1945 London time, which has just passed. You'll notice that the sub Thames angle here is 0 0.5421 for the moon and 0 0.5421 degrees for the sun. This is the angle that comes up above the horizon. Now, what's important to, to keep in mind that number there. The disc to the sun is 1471-28064. Solomon lived 64 years. Prince Charles, 64 years. Now, 12, rather, 280 is the gestation period of a human being. Also, they've, they've taken two weeks off of that. The way they diagnose a woman when she's going to give birth. So they've taken two weeks off of that, so no longer 40 weeks gestation, it's 38. This is the depth that they go to. They don't want you to associate these numbers. The 1471 is to beget children. And I'll read you exactly what it says. In, this is in Greek. The number is, you type it in, 1471. Now, this is beyond the intellect of the people that was putting the Bible together in the, in the, in, at that time because the Strong's Concordance didn't come out until 1830. And all the Concordance is, is a dictionary that numbered all the words of the Bible. Now, if you go online 
that may be still, I don't do it uh, because it's all been changed, but there's um, Blue Letter Bible and that kind of thing and it has in it uh, the concordance. The original concordance, in, you can get in the library, uh, it uh, contains 8674 words. And in 8674, if that was uh, uh, days, becomes 3168, which is Lord Jesus Christ in Greek. So it's 38674 days is uh, 3.164, 3.168 years. So 3168 and the number of words there are in the Old Testament of the uh, James Strong's Concordance found in any library in the world. Um, and as it's written in ink, it's very hard for them to change it unless they go and supply new books all the way out because they can't do that. That would raise a, a red flag. So when it's on the internet, if you try and find out how many words there are, or if you're trying to find out what's the total for the James Strong's Hebrews Concordance, you'll find that they've added numbers to it. And I haven't even gone into it. I don't care because I knew they would. So what does this all mean? Well, I had to fulfill the prophecy of marrying the most evil woman that uh, the angels could prepare for me. And that's... Uh, my first wife, Arlene, I knew I had to marry as a child. I used to get sick thinking about it. However, where she lived, where she was conceived and raised, if you like, um, it's 33 degrees, 23415 by 150.05164. Now you can do this with your uh, uh, Discover Australia or uh, Magellan software, satellite software. You get it in America, you get the American version, you get the Canadian version. And you can put these uh, concordance in and it will give you these points. Now, from here to here, where I'm born, to where Ireland's born, to Michelle's home, which I lived with her for 13.31 uh, years. One three. One three years, sorry. Um, the distance is 777.7 kilometres. Now, the age difference between her youngest daughter it was her birthday on the 20th of December, she was 33, um, last year. And to my youngest daughter, November the 2nd, 1977, is 777 days. And that number is how many times the word city is found in the entire Bible, 777 verses. Now that becomes two, 777 days, is 2.127 uh, Years and that number is Zia. It's found in First Chronicles five thirteen, and my oldest daughter is eleven point six two six years, and that's the width of the antechamber of the Great Pyramid in Pyramid Inches one one six point two six. So here she is, same number. You move the decimal point over, and we identify Rhiannon, and that number is found. The 2127 is found as Zia in First Chronicles 5.13. Now, there are 942 verses in First Chronicles. The word Jesus is found 942 verses of the entire New Testament. So we've got 1471 is uh, great with child, big pregnant, uh, swelling, etc. So this is where the children come involved. And then the latitude of where Eileen was uh, raised is uh, Messiah in Hebrew origin and Mashiach or Christ Messiah. Right. So you do the same number in Greek and you've got anointing. Well, let's look at the next slide. Now, to have the moon and the sun's subtense number being the same is very rare. We won't concentrate on it at the moment, but the distance is 1471, the same as those three sides. One, two, three is 1471 kilometres. So, here we have the 1114 which is lunation, 1114, which is January 11th, 2013. I, I'd just like to say at the moment, I, I, I'm totally stunned by a man like uh, 
John Lennox not being aware that the Freemason Bible is the King James Bible that's read in every church in the world and it's in every Freemason lodge and they worship Lucifer and you find out when you're 33rd degree. But the terrible death oath that they do. So he, he basically uh, brushed Dexter off and he handed him a CD or a DVD to look at, which I'd sent over. So his eyes that? glazed over, that's important. He said his eyes glazed over. Yeah, he went from uh, being, interested. And being interested and, and deep eye contact, and that's what Dex was focusing on, until he said that there is evidence and proof that Yahweh is walking around on the earth. And then he said, Dex... He wouldn't know if he's back. Yeah, he, then Dex said he noticed the shift in his eyes, and my description is, is they start to glaze over. And he says, yes, that's right, his eyes glazed over. And then he said uh, it would be evident. To, God him, was, to everybody. To, to everybody. Like, like what's these planets zooming around the Earth at the moment? Yeah. Is that not proof? Or not? And then, then Dex was... Uh, and, and, and he said, I think. John said, I think. And Dex said, that's the point. It's not the way that you think. And it is evident that he is walking around when you look at the evidence in the DVD. Right. So he may be reading it right now, but he is Irish, and Irish are as thick as two short planks, generally speaking. Now, um, I mentioned the 31680 derived from the total of the 8674 words, uh, if you call that years, 8.674 years, becomes three, no, rather call it days, becomes 3.168 which is Lord Jesus Christ in Greek Gematria. I'm sure that uh, John Lennox wouldn't be aware of that. And uh, because he's just a babe in the woods, although he's a university professor and mathematician, he's just a babe in the woods. He has no idea what's going on. But to the South Pole, from the Nell Street address, it is um, 5813, which is the height of the finished pyramid with a capstone in place. Now, uh, John Lennox probably wouldn't think that the Isaiah 1919 and 1920, which says there's a pillar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt and the border of the rock, has anything to do with, with Jesus. He probably swallowed the, the bullshit out of Egypt. Freemason again. Now, uh, in 1991, I went down to the uh, this area here, to the Yucatan, and that's where I was going to do a, uh, a capture of the solar eclipse that was occurring. And you'll notice that the, the West longitude of it is 116.26 and uh, north latitude 25. Now, when you measure the solar eclipses, it's always based on the 25 degree because it's got to be a standard. And that is the width of the finished pyramid in uh, years when this time we're saying the width of it is 9131.06 pyramid inches. We'll call that days this time. And we end up with 25 years, and that's why that is like that. So the base is 100 years of the Great Pyramid, and um, which is that there. That is with the capstone in place. It's 25 years across, based on those numbers. Now the distance to the solar eclipse that occurred on Prince Charles's birthday. I'm sorry, Prince Charles, you missed out by a day because that happened in Australia, and uh, you lagged the drag the chain there a bit, son. So you're out of it. Go back to your uh, your uh, satanic lodge and see if you can work that out. The distance is 5547, done with GPS, Magellan software. And that number is how many is the number for Christ in the concordance of the New Testament. From this point here to where I was born is 942 miles, which occurred, as I said, on uh, November the 14th, 2012, Australia time. <coughs> now, um, there's 942 miles to where I was born, uh, Jesus' verse total. That's to that point there. I better spell it right there again. So what have we got? We've got 942 out to this point here, which is just off the coast of uh, east coast of Australia. And then we've got this one here when I was born, 
solar eclipse occurred on the 25th of January 1944 and the distance is 8,888.8 and those who have been watching you know now that it's uh, 888 is Jesus in Greek Gematria. There's the numbers there. So, First Chronicles has 942 verses. Distance from there to where I was born, 942 miles. Jesus, 942 verses in the New Testament. Going a bit further. There's a bit of a close up. 8,888. 1902. Uh, January the 25th, 1944. To where I was born now. Rothschild is identified right there as being, I'm born into the pit of hell. And Lucifer, for the most part, is Rothschild. Now, I'm going to end it there. It goes on and on and on. There's others uh, you've seen. But um, I'm uh, now going to be running around in this car here. It's going to have Christ as back written all over it. Uh, we'll be driving around Canberra. I'm telling uh, Julie Gillard, who just increased sanctions against Iran, I'm telling Julia Gillard that uh, uh, her future is looking very grim unless she announces, number one, who I am, number two, that all the medical that is being subject to the Australian population and the foods and the the poisons that are in it and the chemtrails and everything else, she had better make an account real quick or she's going to be on the freight train as well, which is going straight to hell. And that's coming real, real quick. Believe me, real quick. So, Julia, you better look for the green you. <laughs> 